Hello and welcome back to ChiefTutor.com. In this episode we'll be learning how to make specialty cabinets. So it can apply to either the base, the wall, or the tall cabinets. We're going to go ahead and just use base cabinets and see what we can do. Uh, I see I have my defaults all set up by double clicking on that. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and click a base cabinet in my drawing here. And I'm going to click it one time and open it up. And notice that it has some functions up here by the special. And if I do the drop down menu, I can learn certain things, like one is a corner. And it says this cabinet width must be greater than its depth before you can change it into a corner cabinet. Well, basically, what it said it was trying to do is put in a cabinet in your inside corner. So we're going to do just that. We're going to draw a corner wall. And I'm going to make sure my width is larger than my depth. And I'm going to double click it and change corner again. And notice it makes it into a nice corner cabinet. Now there's a couple ways to do that. One is just the way we saw. The other one is just to take a corner that you already have drawn in your drawing, click on base cabinet, scroll to the corner, left click one time on the inside corner, and Chief automatically recognizes that you're putting a base cabinet in the corner and gives you a corner unit. Kind of nice. Let's try some more of these goodies. If I double click a normal and we've seen corner, let's look at right end cabinet. And notice what happened to the cabinet. It kind of filled it out to the right, which looks kind of nice. Now usually in a scenario like this you don't have drawers because obviously look at the way the angle of the cabinet is and of course you couldn't put in a set of drawers. So I like to just select it, delete it, and there we go. And so we don't confuse the cabinet maker we don't need to put the hinges on because Chief just defaultly throws them left or right. Even if you choose double door, it does something weird there. So I like to just choose which way I want it to open. Then go to my hardware tab and select none. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've done here. And we'll notice that it's a nice corner cabinet. Okay, let's check out some of these other cool options. One is, I'm going to get rid of that, and we'll pull out this wall a little further, grab another cabinet, slap it in there, double click it, and we had the right, and we have the left, obviously, same thing. We also have right radius, where it radius is the ca cabinet. Pretty nice. Again, you probably don't want the drawer, so just delete it away. It looks good all by itself. Let's go to the next one. We'll double click this guy. We see that we have radius left and right. We also have peninsula radius. When you click on that, it makes the whole end radius. So it's like the end of a cabinet run. Let's go ahead and just kind of show you what I mean. I'm going to take a cabinet. I'll face it like that. And usually, as cabinets are coming around and it stops, that's how it ends. Just like that. It's a nice finish touch. Okay, so then we'll uh, check out a few other things they have here. If we go to angle front, we'll notice that the left depth and right depth windows highlighted, so we can change them. So I'm going to keep the left at 24, and I'm going to reduce this one all the way down to, say, 6 inches. That's the right side. Click OK, and there it gave me a nice right angle cabinet kind of nice too so you can customize it and make it fit any shape or size. Great for going around outside corners if you think about it. You can make the other cabinet butt up nicely into the corner. So that was that option. Let's go ahead and place the base cabinet. Double click. So we've gone through all of them except for bow front. Let's click on bow front. And again the front just gets bowed out per the radius. I'm going to make it a little bit more pronounced. Six inches. Click OK. And we'll notice I got just a little bit of a bow out there. And again I'm going to take a cabinet. Now let's grab another one here. Slap it on both sides. Oh, I didn't line up. So I'm just going to try to line it up myself. And bada boom. There we go. It just does a nice little bow front to it. So that's been working with specialty cabinets in Chief Architect X1. Remember, you can utilize the same type of angles with the wall cabinets and the tall cabinets. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you on the next video.